Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time out, we met up with Detective River Ward here, who is looking into the death of Mayor Lucius Ryan. We saw in the brain dance that uh, the River Ward had tried to warn Mayor Lucius Ryan of an attack on his life and we're trying to piece together exactly what that meant. We came down here to the Cherry Blossom Market to speak to uh, Peter Horvath's boss down here on the market stall, the guy that actually made the assassination attempt and actually wiped out the guy that, whose eyes we were looking through and uh, found out that he has most likely got some sort of shady sponsor who was behind uh, getting him chromed out with everything that he had there. And uh, yeah, we're now going to go and see River Ward's confidential in informant to try and work out what this Red Queen's race was that Lucius Ryan mentioned in his, uh, in his final hours. Oh, that's rather convenient with fast traveling there. I wasn't looking forward to a uh, a big drive from one place to the other again. Oh, hello. Oh, my guy works here. You go talk. Mm, he's lost his voice by the looks of it. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Okay. Uh, I mean, he doesn't know me. He's your CI. Doesn't know me. When we last met, it didn't go so well for him. <laughs> People he ratted out got wind of it. Uh-oh. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me, at least voluntarily. Who is this guy? The prior proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell, so he knows all about everyone. Oh, okay. Ideal snitching, I guess. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, I'll go and lean on him. All right. Wait here, then. Um... <laughs> I don't know what happened to River. He went rather quiet all of a sudden, but... Oh, hello. <laughs> hello? What in the world? <laughs> Captain Pickhard beamed me up, Scotty. Oh, I love it. A milf card advert in the background there. Mannequins doing all sorts of unspeakable things to each other. Oh no! <laughs> Maids of Satan! <laughs> what in the world? Purveyor of absolute filth. Little daddy paddle. Conqueror. Captain Picard. Oh gosh. Oh, what is that? The <laughs> Szechuan Noodle Limited Edition. Bon Appetit! Oh my god. Right. Let's, um, let's just <laughs> get what we've come for. for uh, general inspiration or something specific? I can help with both. Oh, you're slimy as hell. Uh, right, hold on. Well, I can't, I can't say that without loosening him up a bit, surely. Igor says hi. Fuck no! I said I was done. I was out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. <laughs> uh, where the hell? Shit, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, Neil. Piss off. <laughs> Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Uh, Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? <laughs> Can't make me do a damn thing. Uh, we can and we will. Red Queen's race. Give us the address. We're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers show broke all my fingers. You seem to be doing alright now. Um I'll break more than your fingers. fingers. This isn't funny. I'll break limbs that'll make you forget all about those fingers. Start with your shins. Any idea how much that hurts? Alright! Jesus! <laughs> Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. <laughs> Plus you're doing business with you. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Oh, do you know what? What the hell? In for a pe Whoa, whoa, hello. He's got like a pink glow on his eyepiece. That's cool. Sure. Thanks. In for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. 
As long as you're a little bit more chatty this time, I do like a bit of conversation during our ride. Oh, here we go. Looks like we're actually driving there this time, as opposed to... Uh, as opposed to a quick cut between them. So this is outside city limits. Wonder how far outside. I'm not entirely sure where we are actually. I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit sort of turned around after that uh, jump cut previously. Oh, we're back in. Right, okay, we're back in Corpo Plaza. Right, um, so Benita Street. I feel like I've heard that name before, but I can't quite place where exactly Benita Street is or why we might know it. Oh, we've got another mega building here. Mega building nine. I've not seen that one before. Oh, wow, look at this. Gotta say, some of the areas in this city are absolutely awesome. Watch your back. <laughs> Nearly run over a cop. Oh, would it have been embarrassing for Detective River Ward, wouldn't it, eh? Okay, um, as beautiful as the city is, I'll go ahead and uh, jump until we get there. I'll catch you there, guys. Ooh, what's that down there? That looked interesting. Ooh, hello, Akuma. What's that? Wait, what? What was that? Where are we? Akuma. There was a, a Arasaka ship here. Now, Akuma. I don't believe that's the ship that had the wolf's head on it when um, when we met up with Takamura and uh, oh, what was his name now? Oh, I've forgotten the name of um, Steady. I've forgotten the name of Hanako Arasaka's bodyguard, but uh, yeah, that was a different ship. But they'd be interesting to go and take a little bit of a poke around. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere now. I don't know. If... Oh, hello. I recognize this place. This is the factory that was being assaulted by Militech a little while back. Well, the owner had decided to uh, fire his striking employees by firing bullets between their eyes. A little bit harsh, I'd say. Um, and this is now heading... Yeah, we're, we're right out in the sticks here. This is heading towards where we first met Pan Am. That was just across this bridge. I'm not sure if that's the way we're going. Looks like it might be. Yeah, it is. So, as I said, this is just through those gates there is where we first met Pan Am. Wait, it's not here, is it? Nope. A little bit further down the way. This is a dead end, I think. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, the whole neck snap thing! Damn it! What's going on? Why, why, does, why does this happen? Why is this a thing? Ow! Wait. River, why did you drive down that... Way. Do you know where you're going? Come on, V. <laughs> that was very confusing. Why did he bother driving all the way down there if he only doubled back again? Um, right, where are we headed? What, you're having a rest? <laughs> did all that driving take it out of you? Um, this is animals turf. I think you can talk your way around an animal. Wait, where are we looking? Is this... Move. Let's go. What, this is known animals turf? I don't see any around. Animals turf. Oh, Judy, any why now? Sly cop rules for talking to <sighs> Hey, Judy. Scratch their tummies. How you feeling? Don't expose your throat. Shitty. Huh? But something came huh? to me. We're short of warrant. Damn it! Stop talking for a moment. Tell me. <laughs> why did calls happen at the same time as briefs? Right. Um. So, she's feeling shitty. Something came to her. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. <laughs> I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox died. Blizzy's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, mm -hmm. so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Hence the Mox was founded. Could stand to get the same makeover. Oh, okay. Sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully? Haven't thought it through at all. 
All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Uh, yeah, the takeover of Lizzie's bar didn't exactly end peacefully. I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought clouds would be safe. Hmm. You saw how far that got her. How she ended. Yes, Be I did. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. Okay. So, is Susie on board with this? Got the mocks to agree to take over clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. No someone at clouds will take our side. Will hmm. you help? Uh... Can't do this bad idea. I'm not going to turn her down. I, I completely agree after what we found out about Woodman. Uh, I just can't write this second. I can't. Not right now. Too much shit going on as it is. I get it, V. It's okay. I'm not going to lie. This will take a good chunk of time. But when your hands are free, give me a shout, all right? Absolutely. Oh, River? <laughs> what? You, you just drop calling me because you're impatient? Fine. Right, sorry about that. Had to take that. What, what's going on? What do what you... Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like something slipped out of sequence here now. Right, so what are we supposed to do? Let's uh, make sure we've got the right objective because Judy's hijacked that, unfortunately. Uh, being on the brat, killing a name. Uh, beast in me, stadium love. I fought the law. Yeah, here we go. Right, enter the warehouse. First rule of top... Oh, yeah, we read through that, didn't we? So we need to enter the warehouse. Cool. Um... Yeah, I feel like I've... Oh, the warehouse is down there. Got you. I still didn't notice any animals, though. All right, let's go and scope the place out. So, we're going to have to get in contact with Judy. She's planning on uh, trying to rally Susie Q to help take over Clouds. That could be interesting. What have we got down here? Oh, police. And... Wait, who's that? Is that a Sixth Streeter? No, just a regular resident. Okay. Um, not our objective, however. This is our goal. And we've got a camera right here. Let's see what we can see. Let's tag this animal first, actually, before we do anything. Uh, and then let's run a ping. Right, get a tag. No, not a tag on the bloody lamp. There we go. On you. On you. Is there someone over this way? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, there's one up here. Hmm, that I can't tag for some reason, but okay. Good to know that there's a second level inside. That's about all we can do from there by the looks of things. Let's grab camera control. Have a bit of a snoop around. Uh, what else we got? Van vehicles. Oh, hello. There was quite a few more select... Uh, identified by the looks of it. Ah, we've got a tag on that one. Thank you. Oh, just lost the scan. Let's run another ping. All right, so that's our booth with our watch guard. Hello. Looks like there's an area deep underground as well. Okay. I'll look at the next one. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is upper balcony somewhere. Yeah, you tag it. That ping seems to have completely failed, so let's run another one off of you. Oh, come on, why is nothing working? <laughs> why can't I tag anything? Oh, there we go. Uh, one. Damn it! Oh, can't run a tag past that piece of kit that's inside. Rubbish. Oh, here's one. So those are the ones outside. Ah, oh, damn. I know there's another person inside somewhere, but I just can't get a bead on them. Wait, is the weather? What's happening to the weather? Well, this isn't another sandstorm ripping through, is it? Oh. Well, hello. This is fancy. I wasn't expecting... Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. What's that say? Corp... Corpo thieves must die. Um, <laughs> I think this place has seen better days. Ah, oh, and back to the front. Oh god, it is! It's another sandstorm. Shit. I wonder if this could work in our favour, actually. 
Right, first of all then, is this... Is there an open window here? Fuck off. Okay. Nothing to see here. Alright, don't you panic yourself. Question is, is there anything to see over here? Doesn't seem to be. Oh. Found a side door. Animals are letting their guard down. Probably haven't checked it out in ages. Hello. Oh, why can't I? Damn it, why can't I tag you? There we go. Right, now, I've got no direct beef against the animals. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got no direct beef against the animals. Um, I don't actually mind them that much. They're kind of just fulfilling contracts. Pax? Yeah, of course I've worked them in. Speak for yourself, bro. No, I no, don't want the eddies. Damn it. I mean, I, I do, of course, want the lovely, lovely eddies, but... I don't actually need them right now when I'm trying to grab an animal from behind. As sordid as that sounds. Shut the door. Shut the door. Right, uh, we've got a terminal over here. Anything of interest? Net? Hmm, fingers MD. No, nothing of interest there. Pants. I was hoping for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of context. So, we hold on, let's, let's just get a bead of where we are. We're in some quite blatantly industrial looking place. Some sort of factory or warehouse or something similar. Uh, and yet we saw on the security feed that there's some sort of what looks like quite a high class uh... Wait, where's that camera sound coming from? What sounds like quite a high uh, looks like quite a high class looking uh, Nightclub or something or bar I need to work out where the sound of that camera is coming from I would very much like to get into this guard post here and um see if there's any sort of uh any sort of controls for cameras or security or anything like that uh right i'm gonna just drop her for now i'm sure there was a hiding place outside but i'll come to that in a second all right let's uh let's just turn this camera off because otherwise that's going to confuse me with its sound messages oh hello to all, rest of today, uh, rest of today and tomorrow off from Francis Delgato to Garage Security. We've got to close down early. Already sent the guests home. Rest of the staff will be out soon. I'm waiting for a few people at the moment, but one thing, when they come, send them right to me downstairs, then go straight home. Let the garage know they've got the day off tomorrow, all of them. Be in touch when the sitch clears up. Sit tight for now. So who's Francis Delgato? So sounds like he was quite keen for his guests to go and meet him and then for everybody else to get the hell out. Surveillance system. Uh, remote takeover, turn off. Uh, yeah, let's turn it off for now. Um, do you know what? I might take a little bit of a chance on this one and just leave her in here because... I can't imagine too many people are going to come stomping out this way. <laughs> Famous last words. Where have you gone? Have you just gone inside? Yeah, you have, haven't you? All right. Hmm. Oh, those are all closed. That would be lovely if I could get you to system reset right there, because you would already be pretty much out of the way. Come here, my dear. Let me escort you to your new boudoir. Wonderful. Right. Oh. That's one I've not tagged. Let's run a ping off of you as well, actually, and see uh, see if we've got any other targets that I've not managed to grab yet. Uh, surprisingly, no. Okay. 
You crouch down over Looks there. Like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. I'm telling me, you got a hunch. Whoa. Cop intuition. Something like that. Right, annoyingly, the one over here seems to have untagged themselves, which is quite inconvenient. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Oh, God, I don't like this. No, okay. Oh, hello. Stairs down. Interesting. Oh, this is back outside. Uh, whoop. No, don't like that. Ah, oh, damn. I really want a system reset. Okay. Let's see if we can't... Can we run distract on anything? No, there's nothing really to run distract on, is there? All right, he's coming back inside by the looks of things. Hello, where did you just emerge from? Ah, damn. Let's head upstairs. Oh, they've stayed put outside. Let's see if I... Ooh. You be a prime candidate for system reset. Let's run that and then run distract on you. To drag this guy back over. You hit the deck somewhere unseen, please. Shit, where's where's this one going now? Come with me, my dear. Um, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm taking you, but... Oh, do you know what? Good a place as any. Do we have... Ah, he's gone back outside. Excellent. That means I can move this one. Back up to here. Oh, damn. No, I can't, because I can't... Get up there! Rubbish! Hold on. Maybe we can get around this. Oh. Oh, I don't like you being so close. No, I'm not a fan of that at all. Wait, why am I... Okay, that was weird. I was moving really slowly as though I was uh, over-encumbered, but I'm clearly not. Oh... Anything we can run distract on in there? No, there isn't. Pants. Right, uh, let's instead run distract on that. The fuck's going on? Then we can sneak up on you. What the? Wait, uh, I should be checking these guys for break. Hold. Yeah. Right, come back here, please. Yeah, here we go. Good enough. Nice and out of the way. Okay, let's check this. Uh, check this terminal. I don't think we've really got many people at all left over now. This is going well. Local network. Oh, okay. Nothing of interest there. We've also got a jack in. I noticed that on another terminal downstairs as well that I missed. I think this is just for goodies. So we do. Can we get away with 1C1C55BDE99? No, we can't do that. Well, we, we can't start with the E9 either. So E9E9, 1C1C55BD would do it. So if we do. Uh. Drop down from there. If we do E9, E9, 1C, 1C, 55BD, lovely. E9, E9, 1C, 1C, 55BD. Wonderful stuff. All right, let's quickly nip through. Oh, we got a shard here as well, haven't we? What have we? Uh, training log. 
Monday, CrossFit, one hour, 200 push-ups, two kilometre run, quite obviously from an animal. Tuesday, interval, steady minute, 30 minute, 30 minute. Wednesday, no time to get real workout in, just 500 push-ups. <laughs> Thursday, job shit. Nobody knows why the fuck we're hanging around. Alpha's sitting downstairs, we just wander around, nobody knows how long we're here for. Nothing to eat except cheap-ass scop supplements. Antonio says that that shit'll make you grow boobs. I don't want to grow titties. Fuck this weak-ass shit. Oh, woe is me. The oppressed lifestyle of a, the modern-day animal, eh? Grab those. We'll yoink whatever you had. Max stock and some ammo. And a crappy gun. What do we got here? A cowboy hat with hard leather band. Oh, 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 you know I'm putting that on. Oh, yes. <laughs> In fact, this leads me on to something I was thinking about between videos. And, you know, I think this is the perfect time. I think it's time we changed up our wardrobe a little bit. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I've been a bit, bit reluctant to get rid of the... Um, the mods that we've got in our Bolero here. We've got Resist... Armadillo, which increases its armor by 25, and this one, cut it out, which grants immunity to bleeding. But you know what? I think with the the two points of extra armor that we've got here and the increase in mod slot, I think we can get away with increasing that a little bit. And two of the three mods that we've got in the other uh, the, in the Bolero, we've already got here, so we can, again, increase armor by 25. Again, it reduce damage over time by 20%. Uh, no, I obviously want to put that in a different slot. Thanks. And um, what? We could stack. Reduce damage over time. Mm, okay. Now, we don't have one that... Um, what was it? A stamina boost, I think it was. Uh, we do have increased poison resistance, and we've got increased max health by 5%. I think that one seems like the obvious choice. We'll go for that. And I think the T-shirt, I think we can keep. That's sort of in keeping with the trench. Um, but let's see what we've got in terms of trousers. I think something like that would suit this uh, would suit this look much better. But the problem is, if we get rid of these trousers, we also get rid of 25% stamina regen. So as much as it doesn't really match up, I'm going to keep these trousers just for the time being because uh, we've got the osmosis mod there. I'd love... Do you know what? Maybe I should make a point of uh, visiting a couple of different clothing stores to see if I can pick up another mod that's equal to or better than Osmosis that we could slot into another pair of trousers, like uh, like these, for example. Oh, that's quite the look. That's quite the statement. I like that a lot. Okay. Uh, no, not that one. We'll keep an eye open for that, then we'll visit a couple of clothing stores, and perhaps we should also change up our, our shades as well for something a bit more fitting. Perhaps... Yes. Oh, yes. You'll do nicely. <laughs> right. Anyway, um, oh, I'm quite pleased I found that now. We've got that one guy remaining downstairs, but otherwise... We're... Oh, we could have come in through here as well. Interesting. Um, otherwise, we've cleared out the entire place, haven't we, I think? Yep, seems to be. Now, we need to be down here. Here. Wait, where are you going? Yeah, he's still patrolling outside. The fool. Uh, oh. We've got a little search area here. Find a way into the club. Hello. What we got? Phantom tough lined cargo pants. Okay. That doesn't open by the looks of things. What have we around here? Oh, I saw this gate from the outside. Yeah, this little uh, sort of compound area. That sandstorm's absolutely tearing through, isn't it? Jeez, that's really quite um, quite severe. Oh, nothing in there. Disappointing. Uh, okay, ominous. <laughs> oh. Oh. Stairs inside. Clever. Very clever. All right. <laughs> oh, this is very 
four levels underground? Well, I mean, that, that explains why we saw some targets underground before when we ran that ping. This is very clandestine, isn't it? I like this. Not sure I like how the uh, doors are mashing through each other. Ooh, can we ping? Oh, we can't. Okay. I was hoping we might be able to run a ping off of that. Oh. Um. Oh. What's that? Mercy is for the weak. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Okay. Interesting. Right, we've got animals in there by the sounds of it. Uh, NCPD, the anatomy of a disaster. I'm just looking at this. I'm wondering if this is supposed to look... Is it, Are these voodoo boys insignias? Because River just mentioned something about a cover-up. Anyway, anatomy of a disaster. This won't be the kind of book that's full of eloquent phrases or elaborate metaphors. I'm not a writer, I'm a cop. Or rather, I was a cop before the mass redundancies. I'm not writing this for money or fame. I'm writing it because I'm pissed off and won't stay silent while the NCPD goes to ruin. Before you say anything, I know we weren't perfect. Night City has never been a safe city, but we tried. As God is my witness, we really tried to keep our city safe. Even while we lacked the money, people and equipment we so desperately needed. The mayor couldn't have cared less. He wanted to cut costs. Apparently, since the NCPD wasn't profitable, he said at a press conference, a day after seven of us were killed by a cyber psycho in Vista del Rey, then why not privatise it? That very same day, the NCPD was transferred into private ownership, all according to plan. Ah, huh. so is this, is this recent? Is this relatively recent, this development? Was, was the mayor who couldn't have cared less, Lucius Rhine? Our new chief of police, previously the head of data term sales department, cared only about one thing, money. He fired half of the force, cut down the number of patrols, and ordered those working the streets to drop everything and start writing tickets. It didn't take long to see the effect. The city's crime rate went through the roof. Bodies clogged the alleyways and the sidewalks were painted red with blood. Meanwhile, the suits at Corpo Plaza were popping champagne and celebrating. Why? Because the demand for private security services had increased by a thousand percent. Oh, okay. Yeah, cut funding to the NCPD and all of a sudden the militarized corporations are uh, rolling in orders and contracts. Um, hello? What have we here? Uh, and... That did what exactly? Um. Ooh, hello. We've got quite a few here, haven't we? Want to sleep over there by the looks of things? Just want to sleep up there as well? What? Why are so many of them sleeping? Although, actually, we saw that in that, um... In... Ooh, that's worth tagging as well, actually. There's a camera over there. Why can I not tag? Let me tag! I want to tag! Ooh, and there's another... Gonk up there. Hmm, that was lucky. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I was saying a thing. I've seen one or two of these before, and I still have no clue what they do. Didn't seem to give me any form of uh, any form of experience or skill points. Didn't seem to actually activate or deactivate anything in the world. So I'm a little bit lost as to what uh, what the point of those are. Right. Hmm. Interesting. We can creepy, creepy through this way. Right, that gonk up there I would like to take out if I can, because he's potentially going to pose a bit of a compli- Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. No, I did not like that. No, sir. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Can we now... I'm a little bit worried about that one moving way off in the background as well. And the one upstairs is standing up. This guy does not have brake hold. Let's just grab you and make off with you somewhere. Back into that booth, I think. Huh, Corpo thieves must die again. 
Recurring theme. Oh, nice. <laughs> Private dance poll. You won't mind if I don't indulge. I'm a little bit paranoid about you being all the way over there, but it's not... Not really many other places I can stick you, to be honest. Ooh, incapa incapacitate the animal boss as well, I just noticed is a, an optional objective. Okay, we've got somebody asleep in the next room by the looks of things. Now, this one up on the balcony is pacing back and forth rather menacingly. Can I target you? Yes, I can. Right, let's do a system reset on you. It doesn't look as though anybody else patrols um, on that balcony. So hopefully they should take care of themselves in terms of being hidden away. Or not. How about you just stay there in plain sight? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Fine. <laughs> well, you look like you're keeping guard anyway, so I, I, I could fool the uh, the uninitiated. This one's asleep. Actually asleep behind the pole. Okay. I mean, we could potentially just... Uh, could potentially just leave her to her own devices, but I'm kind of tempted to creep up and see if I can choke her out just to make absolutely sure i don't know if i can actually do i even have the option oh i do marvelous news sleep i mean like sleep again <laughs> like my style of sleep okay all right we're doing okay so far oh something i meant to do a long time ago i need to eat something to get my health up um that doesn't open yeah just kick a can around v why don't you Nothing around here. Wait, where did that one go? Where did the one that's pacing back and forth go? I don't like that I've lost his tag. I think we're all right. Uh, now, do I head upstairs? I'm, I'm a bit paranoid about that one that's uh, stood up. Yeah, stood up leaning against the uh, the, <laughs> the banister here. That's so perfectly balanced. I love it. Ah, there we go. Prime hiding place. Let's um, let's just put you out of my misery for a moment. To get you out of the way. Oh, there's a freezer here as well. Wonderful. We've got much animal storage. Okay. Where's the dude that keeps pacing back and forth? I'm a bit paranoid about him now. Uh, right, that one's through it's in the next room. Oh, we've got a big balcony area here. No, I don't like this. Not one bit. No, thank you, sir. Um, they look like they're on the phone, though. So we should be okay, I guess. Let's uh, grab you. Choke. I'm still not scanning these guys for break hold. I'm taking so many risks here. Oh, it's silly. Uh, yeah, we can grab all of that crap. Why the devil not? Next. Oh, hello. You don't seem to be active. Oh, not electrically powered. Okay. Different. Um, don't like this much. I know that that guy is still patrolling down there somewhere. So I'm going to go and... See if I can't get rid of him first before we go any further. Oh, plus there's a tasty little terminal here as well for us by the looks of things. Or access point, I should say. Oh, we got a little... Okay, this looks like a food prep room. Where does this go? That one, that one that was marching round is no longer tagged and that's making me extremely paranoid. No, don't like that one bit. No, sir. No, thank you. Oh, hate that. Why did that person detag? Oh, I hate that. Okay. Let's, um, if we run distract on that, is that going to attract them? Damn it. <laughs> Apparently not. This one? That's surely going to get them. 
No, because they're in a bloody con phone conversation. Damn it. Uh, anything around here that might distract them? Oh, they're standing up to walk. No. No. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I thought they were coming right for me. Ah, here we go. No, wrong one. That's attracting the wrong guy. <laughs> Damn it. Right, no matter. As long as that person has just walked into that room and sat down. Whoa. Where are you going? Oh. They're going up to the upper balcony, aren't they? Right. There's nobody up there because I've just cleared it out. So at least we can system reset that one to get them out of the equation. Nothing I've missed around here, is there? No, just some eddies. Uh, tech ability. Oh, I can't even get to you there. Pants. Oh, shit. Right, you. You're annoying me now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bad things happened. To you, that is. <laughs> Wait, who's seeing me? Someone's seeing me from up there. Oh, no. It's the person I've got in my hands. Okay. Oh, hello. That's a very nice top. And, oh, we got a um, shard as well. Gig. An NCPD detective will contact you. You do the following. Go with him to the club. Do what he asks, nothing else. When he's gone, you stay in the club and fucking destroy the place. Afterwards, one of my guys will come to you. You'll get the usual rate plus a little extra if the club's fucking unrecognizable. So hold on. An NCPD detective will contact you. Go with him to the club. Do what they ask. And then smash the place to pieces. So they were... Wait. They were hired... By a cop? Oh, I'm slightly confused. Uh, oh, this was the little booth that they were sat in. Okay. What's over here? Okay. Flight jacket. Nothing much else. All right. That looks uncomfortable. Uh, we've got a pacifier and a pulsar. Right, just this one left then, I guess. Oh, this must be the office. Nice. Still no break hold. Mistakes like were made. Office. Sort of. Yeah, just chat away, Comps why don't you? What we want. Comps above all. What? Oh. Oh, I can interrogate her. Nice. Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here in a day you die. Joking, <laughs> joking. Yeah, you look like you're joking. Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it. We're fucking waiting. For what? Till they send us the scratch for a job well done. Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit. Time for the pay up. Pay up from who? Give me some intel. Pay you half what they owe you. Ooh. Well, they are mercenaries, aren't they? I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised. I get the intel I need. Half? For half, I can tell you how tall he is, but uh, that's Shit. it. You're not in a position right to negotiate. Now. Real scratch with the whole thing. Someday, maybe, but probably never. Uh, uh, all right, scratch now. Who told you to wreck the club, and why? Welding. Oh. <laughs> right hand bull terrier. Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right, fuck it for the job. <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> did I even give her any cred? Did I even give her any credits? I don't think I did. 
<laughs> oh, I almost feel bad. Right, um, so Waylon Holt got these guys to come in with a cop, smash the place to pieces. Uh, oh, I've got to check the computer, okay. Smash the place to pieces with a cop and then wait around to be paid. What the hell? Right, messages. Uh, security protocols from, again, this is the guy from the computer upstairs who told all the guards to go home once his guest arrived to RQR staff. Um, the club's getting more popular. We're getting more and more VIPs. Goes without saying that's a good thing, but it doesn't mean we can let our guard down. Just yesterday, an unidentified person managed to break into the club and spend upwards of 20 minutes inside before anyone noticed. Unacceptable. Let me reiterate. Don't talk about the club. No invitation, no entry. Report any suspicious persons to security. Don't talk about the club. And again, don't talk about the club. <laughs> wow, it's like Fight Club down here, isn't it? So Francis Delgado is clearly the proprietor of the Red Queen's race. From Weldon Holt to Francis Delgado. Our friend wants to visit the club tonight. He's a bit shaken after today's incident, so please don't disturb him. <gasps> Could this be Lucius Ryan? Our friend, shaken after today's incident. Uh, we, we'd like a private room, something cozy, intimate. Sure thing. Important read now from Francis to Weldon Holt. Weldon shits fuck six ways to Sunday. Ryan might be dead. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's definitely dead. He came here, went straight to his booth. Nobody besides him, swear to God. But after five hours, I was like, what the hell? He usually only stays for two. So I go in and look and fuck me, the guy's flatline. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? Do nothing. Wait for my people. Until then, nobody goes in the club. Get the customers, get the staff out of there. Trap shut all of them. Tell them it's a gas leak, pest control, bomb threat, whatever. So, okay. So Lucius Ryan came into the club, was given his own private booth. Five hours later, he's dead and Weldon sends in the animals to smash the club up. Um... Garage security. We've got to close down early. Already sent the guests home. Rest of the staff will be out soon. I'm waiting for a few people at the moment, but one thing. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is the same message as upstairs. So this is Francis panicking, knowing that Weldon halts guys, the animals, and I guess the police. The detective arrived at the same time. Queen Hyena. I wonder if that's the one we just put on the floor to Weldon Holt. Halt, we got the file you wanted. Smashed up the... We got the file you wanted. Smashed up the rest. Couldn't smash it more if we tried. Where's the eddies? People starting to mumble. We could have got more from someone else. Much more. So where's the fucking scratch, Halt? Okay. Uh, recording camera one NW3003. Yep. Stiff as a board. You asked <gasps> me he's been dead at least an hour. No. Huh? No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. Uh, a club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Hiding <gasps> in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Oh, ho! It's Boys delicious! getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River. Who was on the phone footage. to? You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know. Not a thing. Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. We're going straight there. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec. Um, okay. So, uh, wait. That's here. Uh, okay. So he was in here on his own. There's a BD headset here. Oh, 
What was he doing with this? Ah! Oh, bad things. V! <laughs> v! You okay? V! Come. You hear me? Firewall breach. <laughs> oh, shit. What? What are you doing here? Thought you couldn't come in without a warrant. I can't. Some gonks just ask to be flatlined sometimes. Yeah. Huh. Right. What was that, V? Um... Virus must have killed Ryan. Oh shit, so he was in here on his own, given a spiked BD wreath. Let's you move. asked me? Let's go. Wasn't a heart attack that killed Ryan. Yeah, as I said from the start. But... So it spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. So is that now the third time that Johnny saved us? <laughs> um. Gonna look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. Waste of time is asking. Uh. Yeah, actually, I've, I've, <laughs> I've not actually got anything to look at. Okay. Let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Yeah, I think I did too. Oh. Okay. That, I, it seems like the number of jump cuts seems to be getting more and more regular in the game as we go on. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh... <laughs> this could be interesting. Oh, he's right here. Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? If your conscience is clear, you can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works. At City Hall, in the street. The rules are the same. Ryan knew it, too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others. But always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Hmm. Ryan was effective. Yeah, not my thing. Politics bores me to tears. Every mayor, same asshole, different suit. Not every mayor saved the city from Militech Panzer. Back when the NUSA tried to take us. Hate to say, he's got Ryan a point. Did. You think people will remember that? All that matters is his death. Because it reeks of scandal. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. Okay. do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll. Got a motive. Got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. <laughs> so since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go oh. home, Lord. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Shit. Corrupt through and through. No way. Fuck. Son of a bitch is on Waylon Holt's paycheck. Um. I mean, uh, as much as I hate to say it, yeah, Han is kind of right. This. You, you can't get very far in this city, I would imagine, if you're a, a straight and upstanding cop. I mean, look at. Um, what was her name? Anna Hamill. Right at the very start of the game. 
I'm not gonna get on the guy's back though. So what now? Oh, let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Mm -hmm. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Um, no, <laughs> I think it was exactly like that, to be honest. Also think it was Holt, the only one who stood to gain. Ticking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Um, don't do it. Jesus. Oh, how do, how do I advise a cop whether to take a, a, Come on. an internal issue to internal affairs when we know that they're both... They're completely bent out of shape. Don't do it. They'll sack you, or worse. Besides, won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. Oh wow. Okay. And you. I'm gonna report back to the paralysis. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. Shit. Um, <laughs> I don't think he liked our answer very much. Uh, right, okay, so we now need to report what we found back to Elizabeth and Jefferson. So we're going to leave it there for this time, guys. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those down below in the usual manner, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye now.